Good afternoon and welcome to Roulette Rivals World Championship 2021. This is a loser's bracket round 5 match between Meme Junkie and Danny Buter. Uh, Meme has picked Mendoza and Danny has opted for Miami. Meme banned Dubai and uh, Danny, uh, he didn't want to go to Santa Fortuna, so good job lads, well done there. Some, uh, some good picks, good bans. Now, Meme finished 4th in Group C with 4 wins and 26 points uh, from his 7 matches. Some recognisable names in that group uh, with Kei Kanata, Yanini, some random person. They advanced uh, ahead of me, uh, but they were also the only players that beat Meme during the group stages. Uh, Fopper, Derek, Mr. Omar and Ike did not make the cut. This is Danny's first Roulette Rivals comp, so he finished first in Group H, announcing himself in style there. He won five, uh, five matches out of his six. Uh, group H had Blythe, Speedster and David Red Sox advance with Danny, whilst Shruik, Goulet, Adoria and Sapers did not go through. Now in the KO stage so far, Meme had a bye in the first round, beat Chromex and was sent to the LB by Throat. He then beat Blythe in a very tight match to make it here. Danny started to bracket strong by beating Currymaker and Yanini before coming up against the beast in the form of a ducker. Only one match in the LB so far, uh, which for Danny was a rematch. Uh, he avenged his loss from the group stage to David Red Sox. The winner of this will go on to face Pajiro in round 6 of the LB, which will also mean there will only be 6 players left in. So, you know, tight times coming up. Now, if you've never played Roulette Rivals before or Hitman Roulette, it's quite simple. You go into a map, let's say it's the Showstopper. You'd have to kill Victor Novikov with a hatchet, or dressed as the Palace Staff, and Dahlia Margolis with a silenced SMG as a stylist. You go into the map, kill those uh, two people in those two methods, in those two disguises, exit with five stars, and you get two points. Uh, if no one can get it done within the 47 minutes, then that's a point each. Uh, round five match, so uh, it's the first to six points. Anyway, we'll be with you in a bit. The spin will be live. Let's have a look in about four and a half minutes. So in the meantime, let's go and have a look at the Mendoza briefing. And when I come back, I should be joined by Currymaker TV. So yeah, we'll see you in a bit. something Buenos Aires International Airport this morning now watch this Harold trail ends at the airport but turns out that a top Providence operative owns a vineyard in the area Don Yates of infamous New York law firm Morgan Yates and Cohn and get this it's hosting his retirement party today she's infiltrated them She's sending a message. She needs my help. Could have fooled me. You don't know her. Anyway, if you're going after her, you'll need to deal with the Herald. Her name's Tamara Vidal, former CIA asset and political firebrand. She's a master of surveillance and the Constance's most trusted aide. She'll have eyes everywhere. You won't get far as long as she's in the game. Why are you telling me this? I thought you were out. Yeah. Old habits, I guess. Anyway, I... I need to go. See you around, 47. No, you won't. Good afternoon and welcome to Roulette Rivals World Championship 2021. Uh, this is a loser's bracket round 5 match between Mean Junkie and Danny Buta. Uh, hopefully the lads are both live. Let's just check that. Anyway, I'm joined for this one, as you can see, by Curry Maker. Curry, say hello to the people. Hello, people. Hello, everyone. Hope you are having a wonderful Sunday or... Well, I guess it's Sunday for everyone at this point, isn't it? I hope so. I do hope so. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Meme's not live at the minute, but I'm sure he's going to be fashionably uh, on time. People do like to... Uh, Brinkman, uh, play brink, brinksmanship games with us uh, casters, don't they? Just to keep us on our toes. But um, 
this should be a good match. We've seen, uh, seen uh, uh, in the intro there, obviously this is Danny's first uh, first tournament. You see he's a roulette rookie. He come first in Group H. And uh, it's a really good, really good uh, tourney so far. Only losing the Ducker and David Red Sox. Um, you know, so that's no small beer. Oh, definitely. Um, like, it's, it's LB round five already. Technically, it's... This one, two, three, four more wins for him, and he could be uh, in the grand finals of this entire tournament here. However, uh, competition has also grown a lot tougher in this later rounds here, which you'd expect, which you'd absolutely expect, uh, especially starting yeah. with sixty-four players, uh, you know, and some big names at the start of the tournament. Didn't he make it to the KO stages? So you know. What's his name? Gord I, on Roy. Something he, he couldn't even get out the blocks. So you know, <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, there's definitely some stiff competition there. Still waiting for meme to go live. That's always a concern, isn't it? Especially with like <sighs> 55 seconds to go until the spin gets here. Infrafern uh, is telling us he says he'll be live in time. Oh, I'll believe <laughs> it when I see it. True. I've had people be live at like the second the spin arrives but that second i already had delayed it so yeah yeah Bit of a oh, there he is okay he's live now he's live now is he i'm probably gonna get an advert yep he knew it cheers meme i, <laughs> I, I didn't actually uh typical 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 imagine if he timed it correctly that by the time the advert is over he'll be exactly like the spin will exactly arrive at that second i would dock him three points for that <laughs> <laughs> but he is live and he is on the planning screen so that's fine it we're off to mendoza is. as you can see mean does have a hundred percent win record with five visits there danny's not been here yet at all but let's see what they can do with this spin curry break it down for us mate and i will indeed it's don archibald yates with a drowning as the head of security and tamara vidal with a fiber wire life kill as the waiter Oh, so basically that early tomorrow isolation is on because that's where you start, isn't it? True, it is actually pretty, yes, Kikana already says in chat, it's pretty free tomorrow here since the early tomorrow isolation relies on the waiter start. It does. And, well, Danny's yeah. straight in, look. He knows exactly where he's going for. Of course, Dom, um, with a drowning, you can finesse that one a bit more. We can see he's got an emetic tool uh, in his arsenal there, has Danny for... Uh, Tamara, there goes the bump, and Meme also starting as the waiter, which it's a no-brainer, isn't it? You'd have to. Yeah. You'd be daft not to. Exactly, with this spin, uh, I feel like it's pretty obvious. I think I'm <sighs> Ooh, wondering... Rip. Oh. rip from Danny, I think he was trying to lure by throwing the uh, by throwing the emetic mine and got caught yeah. doing that. Meme, however... He's also going to throw the Emetic Mine, but gets in a better position to do so. Doesn't get spotted. I'm pretty sure that's what um, that, that's what Danny ripped on. Wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. He, he was a lot more out in the open, whereas me went around. Uh, Give himself a bit of, uh, bit of uh, shelter there. Indeed, and there's the 5 wire kill from Meme Junkie. 45 seconds, and she is down. Danny this time picking up a bottle of wine to throw. As you can see that in his, oh, uh, yeah. his hand there, it makes a lot of sense. Meme's just going to power on through this frisk. Uh, these super diligent uh, guards that we have in Hitman 3. You see, They are absolutely doing their best to keep this mountain as protected as possible. Oh, so they should. Yeah. Okay, memes, uh, now Don is already sat down for, uh, for Meme, which is interesting. I didn't think he took very long to get up there. Huh? Mm, well, he had to do the fiber wire kill like in total, that's so I true. guess that does take a bit of time. Oh, he does have Dom being sick there. I think that was a double seeker. Danny working, yeah, Danny working on the uh, head of security first, though. So Meme, Meme is against the clock here. He has to uh, get the head of security and get back before uh, Dom finishes puking. Indeed, with the double seeker though, he has uh, twice the time basically. Yep. Uh, as in says, two minutes 
plus the time that uh, Don obviously takes to walk to the toilet, which is not more than a couple of seconds, though, because he's like right there, yeah. uh, same floor. So yeah. I mean, it's going to be tight on time. That's the medic tool. Oh, meme. No, I don't think he's going to get out of that. No, he isn't. Oh, that's a rip. Of course, he is in a civilian type disguise. So any weapons uh, are going to be frowned upon there. So Danny, as we can see, does have the head of security. Obviously, Don isn't puking for him yet, but he now has a lot of time. He's got a, a big advantage here, does Danny? Indeed. The only thing that's going to be interesting is where Don is on a cycle for him. Um, because I'm not sure about the emetic behavior once he's not like... He's in the garden, I think. Yeah, is he going to just go puke in the, puke in the pond? Or yeah, something like that. <laughs> over a wall. Or will he actually, um, you know, respect his gardeners and go inside? <laughs> uh, this might still be fine. Yeah, he's, he's, he's still in the house. Still in the house, that is... Uh, he's got Don. Doesn't get anybody else in the cloud by the look of it. Okay, Meme's getting the kill on Tamara again. Same sort of time, about the 45 second mark. He'll puke into the flowers. No? Nope, doesn't look like it. Don is heading up for Danny. Yeah, he looks he's like just he's picked up the car keys as well, and yeah. Of course, he's not trespassing here either. That must be frustrating, though, seeing Don slow walk upstairs. Look at, I mean, look at that as well. The guards even uh, respectfully stand down halfway down the stairs. So, I mean, uh, Danny doesn't even have to worry about that. Okay, I'm mean, gonna try again. He's got the secret shot on Don. Just the one this time. It didn't look like he double secreted in them. The first one, he might have missed that seeker. First time round. It did look close. But I don't think that's gonna matter because Danny has the kill, he has the car keys doesn't have any enforcers to worry about. He's got the 12 second delay to now wait out. Yeah, which must be infuriating, but it's looking very good for Danny, I would say. Indeed, there it is. The exit. That is... And Danny is through. Five stars, SA. And no hesitation Victory. from our admin Score. there. Two. To zero, zero, to two. You were we can hear both the lads getting the confirmation there. One victorious, one not. Okay, let's uh, start up a prediction for round two, but very nicely done from Danny there. Very, uh, very calm. He had that one rip right at the start, didn't he? Yeah. Um, again, again, in total, with very little rips, Danny ripped once at the start to throwing the remote medic tool, which is illegal. Um, meme. Ripping once very late at the the placement of the remote medic tools, so yeah. both kind of ripping to that. <laughs> Bit of a bugger that one, wasn't it? It was just yeah. <sighs> it was one of those. I need to get in. Need to plan in fast. Okay, yes. look at that. Looking on. Looking to go to uh, Miami now, which is Danny's pick. Uh, we can see the lifetime performance. So we got a fifty percent for for uh, Danny. One win, one loss. And uh, mean there uh, only the twenty percent win rate. Been there seven times, only won twice. Of course. You know, until you get stats in the double digits, it doesn't tell the whole story, does it? So obviously not. Yeah, no. It's yeah. Just... I know you're a stats man, and uh, of course, <laughs> if you are interested, what was it Curry RR dot stats? Uh, oh, something like that. It's rrstats.currymaker.net. There you go. I knew it was something similar. <laughs> yeah, almost, almost, almost. I should just buy that to reroute it now. <laughs> you should do, yeah, because you know, you know, millions of people listen to these shoutcasts, and uh, oh, definitely, they, they they hang on my words as if I'm uh, if, as if it's gospel. Uh, yeah, which just goes to show how stupid people are, really. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, um, while we're waiting for the spin to come live, let's go and have a look. Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is the annual Global Innovation Motor Race in Miami, Florida. After analyzing the data from Reynard's computer, the case is clear. The Providence defectors are Robert and Sierra Knox, head of robotics developer Kronstadt Industries. A visionary inventor and technological innovator, Robert Knox has spearheaded Kronstadt Industries to the bleeding edge of technological development. 
His equally brilliant daughter, Sierra, is not only a financial wizard, but also a fiercely competitive race car driver with a fiery temper to match. Kronstadt enjoys enormous popularity with global consumers. However, few are aware that the company is also one of the world's leading suppliers of next-gen military tech. Last year, despotic ruler Jin Po employed prototype Kronstadt drones against peaceful civilian protesters in the now infamous Tungyan Valley incident. And although it has yet to be proven, there is little doubt that the Noxes personally brokered the deal, making them complicit in a war crime. It is unclear why the Noxes would betray their masters, but likely the fear of being next on the Shadow Client's hit list has pressured them to cut a deal with the enemy. Undoubtedly, with Kronstadt Industries on their side, the militia will increase their attacks tenfold. And so our contract obligates us to retire Robert and Sierra Knox and contain the damage they may inflict on Providence. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome back to Roulette Rivals World Championship 2021 and this round four losers bracket match between Mean Junkie and Danny Buter. Uh, we've just got back from Mendoza where Danny took that after one rip. Uh, Meme had a, a very unfortunate late rip um, trying to get the head of security disguised but dressed as a waiter with a nemetic tool in his hand. So uh, uh, unfortunate for, uh, for, for Meme there, he was looking quite good. But Danny coming through. Nice and steady as well. There was there was no uh, no panic, really just textbook stuff. But now we are off. Now we're off to Miami, which is uh, Danny's pick, as you can see. Curry, what are you hoping to see in Miami, mate? Uh, there's just so many disguises in Miami, uh, with like each race team having a driver and a mechanic. Um, that there is, I, I, I guess we're gonna see at least a one driver and or mechanic in the spin um because of the sheer amount of them and then there's there's some some interesting uh disguises mascot i think is that, that that's allowed isn't it i think it is yeah mascot's allowed that. yeah absolutely no and reason not to use that exactly and like i think we haven't seen it a, a lot of the time yet so far no um, I, I can't think i can't think of one off the top of my head in this tourney uh but of course yeah. um the the inclusion of um drivers and mechanics well, it was more, more of the drivers uh, with the advent of the, the emetics being somewhat more reliable, shall we say. Uh, yeah. More disguises and more kill methods. Of course, drowning never used to be allowed because it was so borked, but IO seemed to have fixed that. So maybe we'll see another drowning kill. But either way, the spin is here. And we're going to have Sierra Knox, injected poison as Ted Mendez. Robert Knox, SMG is the Power Rider. Power Rider, what a cracking disguise that is. <laughs> and also one of those um, uh, people like to grab it just to traverse sometimes because he's got less crowd enforcers in the, uh, near the um, the racetrack area, which is I mean, always quite interesting. Yeah, look at, looking at the Power Rider though, that totally makes sense. Like he's like full suit and a like head with a visor. There's no way you're gonna see who that actually is if you wear that. Well, yeah, the Stig. He uh, he, he maintains his anonymity. Non he maintains that people can't find out who he is throughout, doesn't he? So, but Danny yes. Danny is in quickly there. He's gonna have a good. Let's have a look. Went from meme to load in, taking a while. It's a real slow. For, uh, okay, twenty seconds head start for Danny there, and he's already in the pale road of disguise. Meme though, looking for an early Ted Mendez, which is a great shout. Ted, when you start by the Dolphin Fountain, is essentially free if you use the Karma, just like Meme did. No distraction shots needed. Whereas the Pell Rider is free. What we got to do is get down to that uh, changing room, and he's all yours. Oh, and we got a replan from Meme. What has he forgotten? Is he making sure he's got a lethal poison? He did do that. Just rejigging which one he's bringing. Now I think he's just swapping out the locations of his poison versus his SMG because he does want the SMG right here to uh, shoot the camera and uh. possibly the door open and stuff like that. So just changing that up. Of course, there is a crowbar right there for the um, uh, for that gate. 
but um, yeah, but the the camera sadly won't care about that crowbar all too much. Sure, but I mean, you know, there were, uh, he, he wasn't trespassing there. You you can get rid of camera trouble quite easily on this map, but then in the heat of a match, you make these decisions. Yeah. For, for good or bad, you make the decision. It's as simple as that. I mean, there were flashbacks. Fusk is uh, saying that Meme's got PTSD with the cameras on this level then. <laughs> Danny, though, fast approaching the laptop in the Pell Road of Disguise, or Robert Knox. Robert, not too far away. Well, he's already hit the laptop then. He's just waiting for yes. Bobo to come up through. Indeed. Interesting also to see, like, two different approaches here. Uh, Danny starting off as the waiter in the driver's lounge grabbing the pale rider first then going for robert here whereas meme is doing the exact opposite yep. grabbing ted mendes first now um Ooh, that's a might go for might still want to isolate robert here he is actually uh he's thinking about it at least he's already shot the laptop has he no he hasn't yes. yeah, yeah. yeah no he did yeah the laptop um i could see that was uh, uh grayed out but the satellite was still uh instinctable but danny Shot Robert in the head there. Sent him flying forward, which is always a concern, but no problems for him. He's dragged him, dragged Robert back into that side room with the boxes. So Robert is down for Danny. He gets the first kill on Miami. Also looking to uh, get rid of that camera so he, he doesn't have to worry about that. On his way to go find Ted Mendez. Indeed. Of course, with the uh, not early ISO on, there's Ted walking across the uh, mountain. But there are more eyeballs now. Gee, that is the kind of tricky part about this. Yeah, he seems to seems to have a plan for him. A mean meanwhile. He's clearing out this security room here, so he can get rid of the uh, the cameras if he wants. And he does so. No more camera trouble for him. Also means that when he comes back to get Robert, just makes uh, makes the kill that little bit easier. Ah, okay, mean there, setting up a long ranger. Nice. Yeah, might not be the easiest thing to hit, considering it's an SMG, but it should be... However, oh, he's made a, he's... Yeah, he's setting him up. Okay, a couple of, uh, couple of shots to the legs there. Indeed, uh, that way so, he won't need as many later, just like a single bullet yep. is he, enough now, I think. If he can't get the uh, headshot from that far away, then, yeah. Weakening him is certainly a good option. Danny, meanwhile, does have the Ted Mendez disguise. Did get it out of the open. Very nicely done. Danny now 4 minutes and 23 seconds into his run. Mean 3 minutes and 10. Doesn't have a kill yet, but he does have Robert isolated. He does have the disguise required for Sierra. Of course, she's still on the track at the moment. For yeah, both of them, has, in fact. Yeah, he has the sugar and the... Technically a waiter, but he doesn't need that anymore now. Nope. Uh, so, I assume it's just going to be default. The default peekaboo. Of course, Danny, Danny picking up the sugar right at the start when he was a waiter, so he's just wandering into the kitchen and do that. Indeed. Yeah, the well, lads having to go through these beautiful crowd mechanics. Me, though, very close to getting to the um, paddock. He's trespassing. Here now. Ah, he's grabbing the sugar. Okay, Meme's grabbing the sugar there. So that's four of that coin. Danny, though, having a bit of trouble with the... Uh... Oh, hello. He's calmer the security guard that stands outside the... Um, Kronstadt uh, driver's, uh, driver's lounge. And he is in. Going to get himself a... Uh, Mechanic now across that mechanic is Danny. So is me now, right in the same spot. Will someone go see what on earth that was? Yeah, okay. Jeez. Both. Look at this. It's <laughs> synced yeah. up. I love it. It is. Bang, bang. <laughs> kiss, kiss, bang, bang. <laughs> <laughs> 
pretty synced up. The only major difference about this is that, well, Meme ha or no, Danny has the kill and Robert already down, just needs to exit after this. Yeah, Whereas like, Meme still has to get the Palin Rider and, and snipe Robert and cross the map here. I would say that Danny is in a favorable spot here. I mean, he's only like two or three seconds behind on real estate here for this uh, ISO and kill. But like you say, Robert's already dead. And Danny, all he has to do is go outside, probably probably get the medic disguise and exit via the ambulance. Yeah, I would say Meme cannot yeah. catch up, so it is purely down now. He's got to get the kill, obviously. Yes. That is absolutely true, both in the trespassing disguise. Danny, even grabbing his SMG to get the whoosh more quickly. And she is on her way. Sierra will be coming off the track any time now. Here she comes for both of them. Interesting approaches here as well. Meme is follow going round and following her in, and Danny is just letting her walk in. Nicely done. Both have the Sierra kill, but Danny, no cameras to worry about. Oh, there is a camera upstairs. He doesn't. Yeah, he does have the SMG in hand though, so that's not a problem anymore. Medic disguise is right there. The ambulance is just around the corner. Danny is going to take round two. It's looking like that for sure. There's the exit. Yeah, I don't think Meme can make up this in 47 seconds, but it would have been nice to see the long range SMG. Um, we'll leave it on the players for as long as we can here. I really would love to see this snipe. Yeah, I mean, that's still a possibility that even if he loses this now, he's still going to do it because I mean, he's kind of close to exiting, and I know a couple of players. Sure. Uh, Means... Even if they lose, just still want to finish the the um... finish the spin and show off the skills. Go on. Or so he's shooting away up there, and there are no guards to come out and be worried by it. So that was that was smart thinking by me. Just can't get the bloody shot off. There it is. There it is. GG's mean, but um, there is Victory. the result. Danny takes round two. Very nicely done. Very nicely done indeed. Now we are going to be off to Dartmoor for round three. This, Danny's on match point. This could be interesting. But obviously a very quick map is Dartmoor. Um, some people love it. Some people <laughs> do not. Well, I think it's the fairest and some... uh, most polite way to put that. And some people write documents about every possible spin on this map. <laughs> yeah, but while they're writing documents, they don't turn up for matches. So, um, <laughs> either way, <laughs> we're off to Dartmoor. So, let's have a look at the mission briefing to see what we're there. We'll be back in a sec. Alexa Carlisle is dead. According to the funeral invitation, that is. So naturally, it caused quite a stir when the late matriarch turned up at the breakfast table, alive and kicking. Carlisle, wisely sensing that her number is up, has emerged from exile to tie up loose ends and secure the Carlisle legacy. She may be a monster, but you have to admire her due diligence. Carlisle descends from an ancient line of warrior aristocrats. Her great-grandfather made a killing in the Second Opium War and established an empire in shipping, railroads, and newspaper publishing. While largely unknown to the public, the family still asserts its quiet dominance over global transport and logistics, media, and technology. Most senior of the partners, Alexa Carlisle, is cold as ice, tough as nails, and sharp as a razor. Incidentally, it was her late father who first brought the three families together after the end of World War II at this very house, meaning that this gentleman is the birthplace of Providence. It began here, and it ends here. Talk about poetic. One more thing. According to our intel, Carlisle keeps a case file on the constant, information that may be helpful in his recapture, so don't leave the estate without it. Right. Happy hunting, 47. See you on the other side. Hello and welcome back to Roulette Rivals World Championship 2021 and this loser's bracket round 5 match between Meme Junkie and Danny Buta. As you can see from the score, Danny has taken the first two maps. 
to lead the scoring 4-0. And we are off to Dartmoor, so Danny is on match point. If he, can, uh, if he can take this one, that is a sweep, and he will go on to face Pajero in round six. But as Curry was saying to me during the break, in for fun, he's going to have to get his calculator out, we'd have thought, <laughs> wouldn't you say? Absolutely. I guess with Dartmoor, uh, I think it has the lowest map record and the lowest average time per spin. Um, a single target with a, yeah, like not very hard um, secondary objective. Sure. And if you look uh, at and talking of the world record, or world record, you look at the uh, the map record as well. Look who holds. Look who holds it. Oh, actually, true. <laughs> Danny Visa does. Not sure so. if, I, if that's up to date still, but I think it is. <gasps> it should be still up to date. Must be still up to date. I mean, it's on rrstats.currymaker.net. I mean, that's your most reliable source of information since hitmaps.com. I mean, uh, I'd be stunned if it wasn't up to date. But yeah, one minute and thirty-eight, and, that, and just to point out, that is real time. That is yes. from getting the spin to exit in the level. That's not just the in-game time, uh, because, <laughs> well, I mean, look at it: one minute and thirty-eight from getting the spin to actually getting out of the level. That's rapid. He finished the spin in less time than there is from now to the spin. Yeah. So like. in about three minutes, we could be saying, "Well, that's the uh, end of the map," but of course, <laughs> it could be. Well, in about three minutes, we'll be saying, okay, we're just going to wait for him for fun to finish counting. <laughs> His photo finishes on Dartmoor are a regular occurrence. Definitely. No preloading from either player, both on PC, not normally a, uh, a prerequisite. But um, certainly the console players have to do that sort of thing. I mean, yeah. I noticed that like even on PC, if you preload, you might shave off like three seconds of your first load, but it's like a much less of an uh, of a, a win compared to like console. It can sh shave off like ten seconds. Like, yeah, even yeah, well, more saying that, this, this is a speed speed runners um, um, community, shall we say? And so three seconds yeah. is basically t from now until the end of time. <laughs> it is. It is. But like. Compared to the like ten seconds or something you get on console, um, oh yeah, yeah, it is not that much anymore. But True. still, could be what decides the map here. Indeed. Well, looking at the lifetime performance as well, mean thirty three percent win rate, and uh, Danny the other way round sixty seven percent win rate. Only both only been here three times, and so Danny's been here three times in this competition alone. Uh, whereas Meme's only been here three times since Hitman 3 came out, what, last January? And we've been doing Roulette Rivals, so uh, interesting times. Heat. Uh, Alexa Carlisle, of course, the only target on this map. And, like you say, the secondary objective, either get the tokens from, uh, well, spoiler alert, the butler and Rebecca, or get the case file at the safe. Okay then, Curry, why don't you break down the spin for us? It's so Alexa Carlisle, a loud explosive weapon as the lawyer, and that's it. Because that is all the spin is. Okay, both opting for the private detective, which you would absolutely expect. Gives you nice early access to um, the lawyer and to Alexa. You can see Danny's got a seeker, a micro remote, and a crowbar. So, yeah, we're going to see Alexa get seekered into the bathroom upstairs. Danny hit play first. Mean was just a couple seconds behind, but Danny is in. And he's replanning. Oh my god, no. Smuggled item. He's going for the he's forgotten his uh, karma. Now he's back in. But Meme now has a seven or eight second head start. Diana telling both our playoffs for not there's off for not uh in the clues. That is Alexa Carla. Meme has the seeker shot on Alexa and now has the lawyer knocked out and his mate. Danny going straight at the lawyer. There we go. Alexa on her way to the bathroom. Of course, it is a loud explosive weapon. Gonna blast her in the face with that. Nice placement. Meme there, <laughs> up high on the wall. I would say it would be eye level with um with Alexa, but she will be bending down, puking her cuts up. So yeah, love it. And now it's like collecting tokens for a meme. 
Yeah. It's the first data disk secure. Oh, wait, wrong map. Okay, um, so you stay here. Danny is uh, knocking out uh, Alexis' guard. Meme hasn't bothered. He's uh, he's confident that that three seconds... Uh... Oh, and Danny got... Oh, hang on. Okay, so that's just Alexa. That was just Alexa um, seeing her guard get knocked Meme. out. Oh, no, what happened to Meme? Meme also ripped. I think he got spotted trying to get the second token. No! Rebecca screwed him. And he's missed a secret shot. Yeah. Oh, we've got another restart from Meme. Missing. That's, he, he wanted that second dart, didn't he? Danny yeah. picking up the token. Just needs the Rebecca token now and to blow up Alexa and leave. The nearest uh, NPC C2 uh, Alexa will be that um, house staff. <sighs> Ooh, some big Good whoosh job. there. Although that's yeah, that's the when you pick up the key. But I, I, I don't think you can actually rip from picking up the keys. It's just go. It goes all the way up to the highest whoosh, but then nothing happens. Oh, I can rip picking up the key. <laughs> okay, green guns for Danny, and Danny is out. Danny is. However, out. it's like, yeah, it's it's not done just yet. Meme still has the forty-seven seconds to exit. I mean, this is still realistic for Meme to finish within forty-seven seconds yet. Sure, sure. Okay, Meme has Alexa set up. He's got a taunt and dart gun in his hand. There's the butler. But I don't think uh, this is going to be enough now. It might force the photo finish. I'm, I'm kind of erring on the side that it won't. It could be very close. Um, Just needs that shot on Rebecca. He gets it. That's the second token, and that is the end of that. Yes. Danny has swept Meme in this match. Danny will go through to face Pajiro. And Meme, unfortunately, is out of the competition. But um, GG's there. Danny played solid play from Danny all throughout this match, I would say. Oh, definitely. Very nicely done. Meme had a nightmare on Dartmoor. I'd say that. It wasn't, it wasn't all cut and dried for Danny either on Dartmoor. Right. Oh no, but like this must be the, the most exciting Dartmoor we had, like in this stage of the competition. Yeah, it, the, the nerves must have been jangling for both of them, no doubt about that. But uh, GG's, Jeez. Danny. Unlucky there, mean, but good tourney, mate. You made it up to um, up to round five. So, you know, in the top, top seven or eight. Very well done there. Let's have a quick look at the brackets. I'm sure we pretty much all know by heart what's going to go on now. We scroll on down, there we can see it. Danny Beauty will go on to face Pajiro in loser's bracket round six. The other match in loser's bracket round six is Throat versus Yanini. That should be a good one. Oh, indeed. And, uh, up in the top there, we got the semi final. That's already um, that's already populated. We got Kei Kanata versus Ducker, and that should be an absolute banger. Looking forward to watching that. I mean, at, at this point, all the matches are just so stoked. Yeah, man. Like, we got one, two, three, four, five, six matches left to go, and we have six players left in the competition. So, yep. After the, these six matches, we're going to find out is it going to be Kei Kanata? Is it going to be Ducker? Is it going to be Froat, Yanini, Pajiro, or Danny? I'm, uh, I'm quite excited to find out what's going to happen there. Let's see if we've got any matches coming up. By well, the shortness of the board there, I'd say that not many are scheduled yet. I'm pretty sure Piggy's already uh, already messaging Danny saying, when do you want to go? When do you want to go? Come on. But the <laughs> next match we can see is the semi-final. That is uh, Kei Kanata versus Ducker. That will be tomorrow at 4 o'clock Central European time. And they're going to Miami and Mumbai. No caster for that yet. Um, of course, I'm sure. Someone will grab it or be allocated it. They'll be told they have to. <laughs> we, we don't get a choice in this anymore, do we, Curry? We've got <laughs> not, not, not really. It's like, you do this now. Yeah, I, I've been told to take time off work, so I have, just in case. Yeah. I'm on standby. I'm now on call. But this, that's why they pay us the big bucks, mate. But yeah, Indeed. what a cracking match. Oh, definitely. Any takeaways from that then, Curry? 
I like Dartmoor can be interesting, I guess, or more interesting than than a lot of us might have thought it is. <laughs> uh, making even the, the the big players sweat. And yeah, super close match, super exciting to watch to cast. Yeah, I was interested. Um, for me on Miami, the um, the difference in strats there. Um, logic would have dictated getting Ted Mendes first because that is such an easy grab, and the pale rider being effectively free. Um, but no, it worked out the other way around there. Um, Danny, uh, Danny absolutely made the right choice going pale rider first. So uh, yeah, that was that was interesting to see. It was very interesting to see. But well. That is that for us today. Look at this. It's only just gone half past the hour. We started at one o'clock. It's now 33 minutes past. And we're it all is. done for the day. We're all done yeah. for the day. <laughs> Time to go back to sleep, you know? Yeah, I could, I, could, I could go and have a little snooze. Could do something. I don't know. Right, who's who's up in live? Who should we go and raid? Does anybody have any uh, anybody to suggest? Uh, we got Buff Guy. He's playing Resident Evil. Um but however, we do have a bunch of Hitman fanatics in here. We ought to go raid someone that's playing Hitman, shouldn't we, really? As much as I love Buff, don't get me wrong. Okay, we got... Uh, who have we got here? Zach the God. No, I'm, I'm, I'm dismissing that purely on his, uh, purely on his uh, name alone. <laughs> yeah, but there is one called David of Dojima. Let's go give him a raid and... Uh, Please be nice to him because, you know, I have a reputation to maintain. Yeah. Curry, <laughs> Curry thanks ever so much for joining me, mate. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's no, been a pleasure. No problem at all. Always a pleasure to have you on. Uh, chat, thanks for coming in. Again, GG's Danny. Uh, an unlucky meme yeah. there. But uh, we'll see you all not tomorrow afternoon. Have a good one. Bye-bye.